Okay, welcome back to the channel, and today's video is another hunting trip from the past. So back in 2011, my mate John and I, we spent six months hunting our way up the country, and one of this video is from one of those trips we did while on that uh, pretty epic uh, adventure. First of all, if you haven't seen any of those videos, what I'll do is I'll link a playlist up above. There's, you know, Stuart Island, Wapiti, Seeker, Reds on the West Coast, um, so a range of videos. Make sure to check it out. But today's video is going to be the first time that we hunted tar and chamois. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool trip. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, I suppose enough talking. Let's get into it and I'll play the video. Enjoy. in the Karangarua River, west coast of the South Island. Uh, we've had a pretty good day, we walked in, got a little camp up there. Jason and I have been up on that ridge right at the top there. I was just about to come home and I looked down, all the way back down here towards camp and there's a tar feeding right next to this little tarn here. So I bolted down the ridge and yeah, crept in on it and nothing flash at all but first tar it will do and here yeah, we'll have some tar back sticks for dinner absolute magic country so right up there into the ice caps and a pretty cold looking river down there yeah what happened there, Joe? The old uh, scope eyebrow. First time firing Jono's Tika T3 3006 and got the better of me. <laughs> Holding close. What are you Oh, yeah, got you. I oh, just a little tickle up. It's still up there. Yeah, I saw her. Yeah, so just shot my uh, first tar. Bit of a, just a little nanny, but um, still first, so pretty wrapped with that. Yeah, so I just managed to shoot my first um, bull tar, just on the 9 inch mark, so not the big boy, but still pretty wrapped with that. We managed to shoot a few nannies this morning, and then um, just after lunch we've been cruising along and spotted this guy about 150 metres below us, so yeah, got him first shot, so pretty stoked. Ah, 
guy I've ever shot. Two and two days, it's he's um, just on 11 inches, a little bit over on one of them as well. Uh, best thing about him was I was walking back after a long day glassing and uh, coming down the steep ridge here. And I can't have been less than 100, 150 metres away. Look back and he's looking at me and the easiest thing is he's only a nice flat walk back to retrieve as well. So, yeah, absolutely stoked. Well, there you are. <laughs> I was literally sitting right here and had a bit of a crash crash and those two tail walked along that little track right there, less than probably two metres below me. Shame I'm on the lookout for a chamois, so they live another day. Well, that was pretty a bit shaky, but uh, I was holding the camera and shooting at the same time. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, up the top there, filmed those two tar earlier this morning. And then from about 200, 300 metres, I spotted a hind down and way down the bottom there. I was just filming here. Now I turned around and there's a chamois right behind me. Uh, what I've been looking for anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I've tipped it over, so we're going to have a look at it, eh?